The insured parties in Gossett v. Farmers Insurance Company of Washington might have made improvements to the house that burned down, but they weren't the owners. Did they still have an insurable interest in the house, and to what extent? In 1990, Richard and Margaret Gossett made an offer on an unfinished house. They planned to finish the house and sell it to make a profit. After the owner accepted their offer, the Gossetts secured temporary financing through a loan broker, Trustee Deed Services. Having secured only temporary financing, the Gossetts still needed a long-term financing solution for purchasing the house. In August, the Gossetts spoke with an agent from Farmers Insurance Company of Washington about insurance coverage. During that conversation, Richard represented that he and Margaret would be the legal owners of the house. The resulting policy, which listed the Gossetts as the insured parties and trustee deed as the mortgagee, covered an insurable interest in the house. Insurable interest was defined by statute as any legitimate financial interest in protecting the subject property against loss or damage. Later that same month, the Gossetts assigned their entire interest under the purchase and sale agreement with the owner to trustee deed. The Gossetts also signed an addendum to that agreement, which stipulated that title to the house would be placed in trustee deed. When the closing happened in September, title was placed in trustee deed as stipulated, and the closing documents listed trustee deed as the buyer. There was no evidence of any written agreement permitting the Gossetts to purchase the house in the future. Shortly after the closing, the Gossetts started working on finishing the house. They kept some belongings in the house, and their sons stayed there occasionally but the Gossetts never moved into the house. In mid-November, at a time when the Gossetts had neither secured long-term financing nor purchased the home from trustee deed, Richard accidentally knocked over a kerosene space heater, burning down the house. In the Gossetts' subsequent insurance action against farmers, the parties disputed whether the Gossetts had any insurable interest in the house. The trial court ultimately entered summary judgment for the Gossetts, but limited their recovery to the cost of the improvements that they'd made to the house before the fire. The Gossetts appealed the limitation, and the Court of Appeals reversed, finding genuine issues of material fact about the extent of their insurable interest. The Washington Supreme Court granted Farmer's petition for review.